I definitely need to learn to go to bed earlier because we stayed up late and I was like, oh, I regret this. I'm stressed that like the moment I start writing, he's gonna wake up. I could finish this month if I write every single day. <laughs> Monday the 28th there's four days left of March right is that the month that we're in I'm super excited because if my math is correct and if I stay on track it's all a big if of course but if everything falls into place the way I think it will and if I continue to you know actually be able to write the story then I could finish this month if I write every single day I think hopefully so Zion is right over here, right behind me here. I'm just censoring, but I'm very excited to say that I already wrote a good amount today because I woke up early and I wrote for an hour before, you know, coming out to start the day with him, I guess you could say. So my husband was watching him. He takes mornings, I take nights. Zion didn't wake up last night, so I got like a full night of sleep. I love it. He's doing, he's done 11 hours last night, 11 hours the night before, I can't remember, past that because my brain, baby brain is so real. But anyway, before I share my word count, I just have to say I am super happy because <laughs> I was just finishing up editing the vlog about night writing that came out today as I'm recording this. And oh my gosh, I was celebrating nine hours then, but since then he's done a bunch of 10 and a half hours, a few 11 hours, and then two times he's done 12 hours straight through and then one time he did 12 hours where i got up in the middle but he still did 12 full hours besides that break in the middle otherwise it's been straight through you guys and i i never thought that i would be like celebrating in a vlog that i got to sleep but i'm very excited about it as any moms out there and dads too can imagine <sighs> it's so nice <laughs> Anyway, back to the word count. I wrote this morning 1,310 words. And again, that was for 60 minutes I wrote. And so now my document is at a total of 22,097 words total. Last vlog that I ended, I had finished writing The Dark Knight of the Soul. So this is like the break into three. She's trying, if you've read the Save the Cat book, again, I always reference this book. And the five point finale starts with a plan, but the plan is not actually going to work because then it goes into a high tower surprise. So right Right now I just wrote the plan like she's actually no sorry let me back up because there's first a break into three where they're having this revelation they're like oh my gosh I think I can actually make this work and so then they st um no actually no the first step in the five point finale is gathering the team I think I'm gonna have to go look but anyway <laughs> Jezebel doesn't exactly have a whole team. So in this case, you could consider it, like Save the Cat says, gathering up other things to get ready for the plan, so to speak. And so that's pretty much all I wrote today. And I I could have, again, I could have gone further. I'm very excited about that. So his little feet in the background. <laughs> Where are you going? This room is pure chaos because every morning his dad likes to take all the toys out and they have a little playtime with all the toys, <laughs> but I'm sure Zion loves it, so that's totally fine. Anyway, we're gonna go and we're gonna read a book and start nap time, and then, I don't know, should I write some more? I think, I feel like I could, but I have other things to do, so I might just stick with mornings and see what I can get done in the mornings this week. <laughs> I don't know, I'll let you know how it goes. I forgot to tell you guys, but this week that the vlog is going live, I plan to have a signed book sale. So I'm actually going to put these guys on my website. And of course, I'm going to include all my other books, you know, including the hardcovers and the collector's edition for anybody who's interested. So my goal is to obviously sell these first and so what i'm thinking is there happens to be a lot of the Ginny key i think they bought extra of that i thought it might be fun to do some kind of sale where i give these away if somebody buys one of my other books then they get one of these for free as long as supplies last but as you can see i only have 
25, 30 of those. So it'll depend on how many people are interested. So anyway, first come first serve. If you're interested, I will link my website below for signed copies. But yeah, I'm very excited to sign some books for you guys. It's gonna be probably a one week only sale because I don't have a lot of time, so I need it to stay limited. And then my goal will be to order whatever books are ordered beyond what I have in stock. So it'll probably take a week, maybe two for those to get to me. I'll sign them as fast as possible with Zion helping me out and then I will get them in the mail. So it's gonna be about a three to four week process. Just keep that in mind. But I've done it before. I have these really fun photos that I got to take when I had book stock before and it was so much fun to send them to you guys. So I would love to do that. I do personalize them by request. I just wanted to make sure to include that in here before I went back to the vlog. Tuesday, March 29th, 1230. This little dude is, I think, just waking up. He keeps changing his mind, but I think this one's for real, so I'm about to go get him. But I wanted to quick report that I wrote 953 words this morning, and also since we're reporting sleep things, Zion slept 10 hours, but he went to bed at seven, so that meant he got up at five. So I definitely still had a very early morning, and I ended up going back to bed for a little bit, but I'm still a little bit tired. I definitely need to learn to go to bed earlier because we stayed up late, and I was like, oh, I regret this. But anyway, very thankful that my husband was able to be home for a bit longer today so that I could have an hour to write. I'm really excited about how much I got done in that hour. I again feel like I could have done more, but I also almost want to go back and I feel like as I'm writing the ending and I'm starting to visualize story more as a whole, I'm starting to see little pieces that I could go back and add in. So for example, when you're fast drafting, sometimes you'll leave out things that just aren't relevant to the plot and they don't matter, but they're going to help the reader later. Later. Like for example, I know I haven't really fleshed out Jezebel's room. So there are some details that came to me where I was like, oh, I could add this and that would make it just like, could totally picture it. Then there's also her outfits that again, aren't relevant to the story, but it's fun to picture and to be like, oh, okay, I can see her as she's going through the day and what she's doing. And uh, side note, I'm hoping to maybe start cover design soon because if I find a dress that's really unique and really fits how I visualize Jin and the Ginny dressing, I would probably rewrite the outfit to fit and match the cover and that'd be really fun. But anyway, he is definitely up now. So I'm gonna go get him and yeah, I'll try to check in again tomorrow, but maybe there's a slight, slight, slight chance that if I have the time and I'm in the mood, I might try to write again during one of his naps if they're long enough and fill in some of those places that I feel like I underdrafted originally, but now I can picture it. Okay, I gotta go. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's so orange. <laughs> Today is Wednesday, March 30th. It's about 11 o'clock. Yesterday, I said that I was going to write more later. I did not. I'm just gonna be honest with you, I did not. But if I'm gonna finish this book by the end of the month, then I probably will have to write later today because I know that this video is coming out during Camp Nano, but I'm trying to finish drafting by the end of this month to wrap it up and start something new for Camp Nano. Let me back up. This morning I wrote 919 words in 60 minutes. Let's write this down. 23,961 words so far in 23 hours and 15 minutes. It's pretty much been a thousand words an hour, pretty steadily, which is very interesting to me. Like, I guess that's my average. I'm running out of stickers, so let's see if I can finish the book before I run out of stickers. That would be April 1st because I have two left. I guess if I don't want to burn out, I might have to do that. We'll see what happens. But yeah, that's where we're at so far is, actually, what is the actual Word document? Let me zoom out so you can't see it. We have... 
23,437 words in this document so far. But again, you have to keep in mind some of that is outlined. So I just finished writing chapter 14 right here this morning. This is what I wrote today. Plus, I actually went back in through the doc and I added stuff previously that I wanted to add in. So now, wow, this is so zoomed out. Let me zoom in a little bit. So now I have chapter 15 is outlined. There's going to be a lot more here, but this is what I have left for the outline. So yeah, should I just, I don't know, spend time outlining and brainstorming today and then I can jump right into it tomorrow maybe? Like I said, I don't want to burn out and I'm having fun writing it, but I feel like every time I get to around a thousand words, I'm pretty much done for the day. So I don't know if I should push since I basically wrote almost a thousand words already. It's just so close. It's so freaking close. I can't wait to see what this ending is, Lena. It's gonna be, I mean, I'm really loving where it's going, but can I do the ending justice? So far, it's better than my outline, but can I keep that up? I don't know, I don't know. There's always editing, right? But here's hoping that it's gonna be like an amazing first draft, as far as first drafts go. <laughs> Thursday, March 31st, 1 o'clock p.m. Just got little boo-boo here down for his nap. And this little boo-boo also, if you can see her, <laughs> she's so much easier to get down for her nap. But that's a different story. I am not done yet with the book. This was like the day that I wanted to finish, but I did write today. So funny story. I actually only had 30 minutes because I also wanted to run errands. I wanted to go to Target. I wanted to drop something off. I wanted to do a couple other things. And I only had a certain amount of time that my husband was able to stay home with Zion while I ran out and did those things. So I knew I needed to be out of the house at a certain point, which gave me 30 minutes to write. And I was like, okay, let's do this. So I didn't waffle around. I didn't get on my phone. I didn't, you know, sit there going, I wonder what I should write. I just was like, I gotta write. So I just started and I was shocked, you guys, because I wrote 1,006 words in 30 minutes. That's more than I wrote yesterday in twice that amount of time. <laughs> so I have written 24,967 words and then the total amount of time that it's taken me so far is just under 24 hours total. So yeah, it was like, it was really, really good. And I technically have one little word count sticker left where I could write tomorrow. But if I wait till tomorrow, will I actually finish the book tomorrow? I don't know because what I've written, if you know the five point finale in the Save the Cat story beats, then I have written the first of the five point finale, which is gathering the team. And I'm like right in the midst of it and it's going really well, but that leaves, let's see if I can remember this, gathering the team. Shoot, is it the plan? And then there's a high tower surprise or is the high tower surprise second? And then they have to dig down deep to come up with a new plan that's actually the better plan that they should have done all along that is like better and is showing that they're, they've grown and changed in the arc of the story. Did I say that right? I'll have to check, it's in my office and I'm too lazy to get up right now. So don't quote me on that. But yeah, I would say that this whole 1000 words that I wrote was roughly gathering the team. And then I'm about to move into the next and it's kind of it's kind of the second beat too if the second beat is actually making a plan i wish i could remember i'm gonna look so stupid if i'm wrong the point is the story is progressing okay <laughs> That's all you need to know. And so what I'm trying to get at is that's a lot of beats to write all tomorrow. Plus there's still the, um, what's called the final image where you close out the story and it often mirrors the opening image and kind of shows just how far the characters come. And it's that very satisfying closure that you want as a reader. So that's a lot that I'm leaving for tomorrow. So I'm thinking, do I write it now? Do I attempt to write a little bit more while he's sleeping? I. I'm not gonna lie, I would much rather watch a movie because it's been a long morning and I'm burnt out. It was a long night as well. I've got videos to edit. Speaking of which, I was looking back at the videos and I was laughing because I'm also kind of sharing like Zion's sleep journey and my eating journey, and but then I just sort of forget to share sometimes. So how the food journey is going <laughs> right now is I have um, half a cookie left from Crumble Cookie that we had last night. 
but if that tells you anything <laughs> about how I'm doing with not eating sugar, don't judge me, okay? I've been craving chocolate. For the most part though, we're doing really good. There's some really yummy restaurants, like for example, Panera's pretty big around the US at least, and they have some really good healthy options. So it's crisp and green. And then I would say the majority of the time what we do is my husband is I've been cooking, which is amazing. He makes chicken with different seasonings to try it out. And then he cooks up some veggies. So the best mix, in case you're wondering, is to cook up broccoli, carrots, and Brussels sprouts. And that mixture with the chicken is amazing. So good. You can do that with oil or butter. I would say butter is more tasty. Not necessarily the best for you, but we are slightly more relaxed now and it's actually really good. Like I will say I still love bread, but I, after we went back to like after the 21 day reset, I would say that I didn't even want the bread as much. And shockingly, I didn't want sugar as much. And the weirdest part is I have a pretty high sugar tolerance, okay? Like I could eat chocolate all day long, but not really right now. At this point in time, it actually, if I have too much, it starts to make me sick. So this massive cookie in here, let me show you. This massive like brownie and peanut butter cookie, I couldn't finish, which is good. That's a very good thing. So I would say that counts as a successful diet slash lifestyle change for the better. I just have to make sure that I don't go back completely to my old habits. And then as far as Zion sleep, it's been really fun looking back because I just was editing a video where I was flipping out about 10 and a half hours. And at this point he's done multiple 12 hour nights, a lot of them straight through and a lot of 11 hour nights straight through, which is just, oh my gosh, God knew that I needed a baby who would sleep good. And I'm so blessed. And sometimes he'll do 12 hours with waking up in the middle as well, which is still amazing. But I really, really love those straight through nights. It's it's been so refreshing to catch up on sleep. But the last two nights have been a little more rough because Zion, I guess, he grew out of the diapers he's in. So we had to size up because he started like leaking out of them. So the poor little guy peed the bed and he was laying in and he's so patient that he started like just like slightly crying. And I'm like, this is unusual for him. I'm just gonna go check and make sure he's okay. Cause usually he sleeps through the night. So I go to check and he's like laying in a puddle. <laughs> I felt so bad for him. Not really a puddle, but you know, enough that we had to change his clothes and I just felt bad for the little dude. So hopefully now that we figured out the diaper situation, he'll go back to sleeping straight through the night. And anyway, I can't complain. I cannot complain because he's amazing. Can you tell I'm procrastinating because I am nervous about this. I haven't really addressed why this stresses me out to write during the day when I'm responsible for him, but I guess if I'm actually thinking about it, it's because I'm stressed that like the moment I start writing, he's going to wake up or the moment that I'm really invested in a scene or I have a thought that I want to pursue, he'll need me. But the truth is, I think I can develop the ability to come back to it. And I think I can start getting more flexible with interruptions because this is mom life, right? I mean, let me know if that's the case because I assume that I'm gonna need to develop this skill anyway. Might as well start now. <laughs> so I'm gonna attempt it. I'm nervous even just saying that, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Even if it's only 10 minutes, it's something, right? Oh shoot, I guess I shouldn't have filled in the word count sticker for today then if I was gonna keep going, but I can always adjust it. So, so far I have written 15 out of 31 days. So that's basically half the month. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna reward myself with a cookie and start writing. Okay, it's about 2.25 and I started around 1.15. So I wrote for about an hour and 10 minutes. He did wake up briefly, but he fell back asleep. So I kept going, which was really awesome. And let's see, so I highlighted where I stopped this morning and I wrote, oh my gosh, wow. I wrote all the way to here where the outline starts. So holy cow, I wrote a lot. Let's see how much this is. It looks like 1,633 words. And then total, I actually wrote, all right, let's update this. There we go, 2,636 words. And then let's update this page as well. So now we are at 26,597 words written total and almost 25 hours total. And today, 2,636 words. And thank goodness for my outline where it clearly said that the story beat is called Storming the Castle 
not the plan, which is so boring compared to storming the castle. So I did write where she stormed the castle, that story beat. And I wrote the high tower surprise, which is the third of the five point finale. The fourth part of the five point finale is the dig down deep where they're faced with a new possibility and they're sort of trying to form a new plan essentially and decide what to do. It's another deciding moment. And so I began writing that and that's kind of where I stopped because he started making noise and I'm like, you know what? I wrote a lot. I think this is a good place to stop until tomorrow before I get burned out. I actually wrote quite a bit. I am so excited. The one day where I did an outline instead of actually writing story, I wrote 2,939 words, but otherwise this is the most that I've written in a day and it's the most I've written for an actual story in a single day. So that's encouraging. That means that my, you know, writing muscle is growing and it is getting better at getting in the zone faster, knowing what I want to write. It helps that I can really visualize this ending, but I always tell people writing is a muscle. You have to work out, so to speak. You have to put in the time and the effort and be okay with it not always going well in the beginning because that will help you grow the muscle and be better at it down the road. And I'm not kidding when I say that, but it's really fun to actually see proof of it right here in my own writing where I can show you guys. You really do have to just keep showing up and the writing muscle will grow and will get better as you go. That's one of the things that makes me want to keep drafting. And I actually just recorded a separate video which will come out I think right before this one so you can go back and watch it. I'll link below where I ask you guys to help me pick what to write next or what to work on next, I should say, because I don't know if I should go turn around and start editing this book and just keep it very contained and focus on one book at a time, or if I should go on to write book three and stay with this drafting muscle that's getting stronger with each writing session. Ah, okay, he's waking up, so that's my cue to go. Anyway, I'll link that video below because I explain it all there, but I'm not sure what to do next for Camp Nano, which is basically starting tomorrow for me. Either way though, I know I need to outline book three because I need to know where I'm headed. And I also wanna do an outlining video. So keep an eye out for that. Subscribe if you aren't already, if you wanna make sure you don't miss that one. But I'm really, really hoping that if all goes well, I might be able to finish this book tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know, it really depends on Oh no, 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 no. Oh gosh, I just remembered my mom and grandma are coming over in the morning and most likely they'll wanna stay the whole morning. And then I'm supposed to go see my friend who has a new puppy and her twin girls who are just born like a month after Zion in the afternoon. So I don't know when I'll be writing. <laughs> I guess, I mean, I might still be able to wake up early. So that's gonna be the goal, but I really don't know. It'll be okay, cause I'm gonna wake up early and try to write in the morning. Oh my gosh, I hope I can do it. Wish me luck, I guess I'll let you know tomorrow. I finished the novel. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I just wrote this morning for, I wanna say 80 minutes. So I woke up extra early to make sure that I got it done before this crazy day gets started. And I wrote, I gotta go check, hold on. 1,302 words. And on this page, so we have a finished first draft, 26 hours, 15 minutes total to write 27,899 words. The actual bird doc though, because I deleted some of those, is 25,978 words, so just under 26,000. We have currently 17 chapters total and lots of comments with things I gotta come back and add. Some of these chapters will probably get blended together because they're more scenes than full chapters. So there you have it. I wrote 25 different days to get a finished first draft. <sighs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Feels so good. Oh my gosh. I have a video coming out right before this one where I ask your opinion on what I should work on next. As of this moment, that video hasn't come out yet, but obviously I do need to outline book three one way or the other. I need to know the essence of what's going to happen in that book. So that's going to be my next project this week while I wait for the votes to come in on what I should work on next. Gosh, I hope to do an outlining video right after this one. As long as everything goes according to plan, you'll be seeing that next. So I hope you subscribe and I'll talk to you again in the next one. Hope you have an awesome day and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye! It started